cut it into one inch piece. Okay? So let's go zoom in on the cutter here. Do the one inch cut first. The reason why we do the one inch cut is because uh, too many blades will cut, will break every cutter. So I'm just going to use two. I'm going to do a one inch cut right now. I'm going to use this as my straight edge as much as possible. And I like to do this to all my bark. The first cut is always one inch. And it's really easy to split. And after that, into uh, two pieces. Because then your finger is only so so long. And one inch is plenty enough to split. Isn't it better? And you can uh, pause that. So I'm just finishing off the end of this strip here. Yeah. Right? When it gets too small, I'll just cut it off. This is really new, okay, eh? That's it? Yeah. That's it. And then now we're going to split this. Because we got to do the first split now. We're going to find the end. Okay, there's the end. Go so grab a, a nice pin. We could use a knife, but I don't want anybody cutting themselves. So I got these nice little pins. Okay. And then I'm going to. Put the bark by putting it through the side here. Okay, you zoom in. Go right through without breaking the surface of the bark. Right there, right? Now, kind of top and bottom. That looks good, right? That's how we're going to split. Off. Now I can split it. That's called the first split. And then we can cut it down into warps and wefts from here. But if you don't need warps and wefts, you can also use this for your bracelet. Oh, yeah, I That's how you split it. All right. Thank you. That's how we split. Then I'll, after this, I'll figure out how to cut it into quarters and an eighth of it. There's different ways of doing it. Let's do it from the other end so I can show you how to start this. It's a long piece. We're going to find the end. Right. Instead of using a needle, I'm going to use a blade here. We're going to explore it. Right? Not quite halfway through. Now I'm going to crack it. Can you see that crack? And I'm going to crack it so it don't lose that spot. Right? Now we got two. Okay, we're gonna I find it a lot easier to split a one inch piece than a three inch piece. My fingers are three inches long, but I can do a one inch piece quite, quite nicely this way. All the way down the whole length of the bark. Keep my fingers close to where I'm cracking it. And if one piece is getting a little thick, I'll switch it around so that it even out again. The cut, right? Now it's getting thinner there. I'll switch it around. So now I can't crack that, so I'm going to carve it off a bit. So we got that little piece, and now we're back in splitting it again. And once this is done, we'll cut it into a quarter inch piece, you know, eighth, of an, eighth of an inch pieces, so we can uh, start weaving with them. All right.
Now that uh, we've finished splitting this, we're going to cut it into uh, quarter inch pieces. So this thing is set up for the one inch cut, and then we're going to cut it into the quarter inch cut. So we only have really three blades, so it won't break our cutter. And then here, these ones are set up for eighth of a cut, but right now, we're going to cut this whole long piece into a quarter. Alright, and we can pause that and then I'll show you how to do the uh, eighth of an inch cut. Stop or pause? Yeah. So just finished doing the quarter inch cut, now we're going to do the eighth of an inch cut here. And I'm going to do two cuts here because I only have. But uh, one, two, five blades here instead of nine. I'm actually going to do a quarter inch here and these eighths of an inch. But, and once this is all cut, we bundle it all up. It would be optimal is to have nine blades here, so it would be all eighth of an inch cut. And since we need a lot of long, wet warps as well, or quarter inch cuts. Do both. Save the quarter inch for another project. And then that's it for cutting. And then we can begin uh, working on our on our small projects or our hat. So it's good to have all your parts cut and ready to go. Normally, you would do this with two people. Not everyone is strong enough to do it like I. Soaking later and I don't know, weaving. See, like Those are all ready to weave. Busy woman, you know? Thank you. you know, Good. Good. <laughs>